good morning folks so i thought i would come outside well i come outside probably every morning <laughs> but i thought i would talk to you guys outside and just let you guys know what we're doing today so today we're actually going to do the video that i talked to you all about i don't know if it's my last video or a few videos ago i think it's probably a few videos ago at this point and that is to take you guys around memphis which i think is going to be super fun so if you've never been to memphis this is kind of like the 411 <laughs> not really i've lived here and i'm from here i've lived here my whole life and there's still things that i do not know so memphis has like its usual north south east except west because west memphis is considered arkansas because west memphis is over the bridge to go to arkansas so over the mississippi river it's not technically memphis because it's not like west memphis comma memphis it's west memphis comma arkansas so you have north south and east Memphis and then you have Midtown in the center which is like typical and then of course you have downtown which is typical as well of any city or most cities and then you have like surrounding areas which those surrounding areas a lot of times when you go out of town you would still say you would still say <laughs> I'm, I'm like neighborhood watch over here anytime something happened I'm like Anyway, it's a I'm never gonna watch what to myself because I don't tell nobody. I guess I will tell somebody if something dangerous happened, but nothing dangerous happened. But anyway, so let's just say, for example, I took a trip to Chicago and someone asked me where do I live. I would probably just easily say Memphis because it's the easiest, and you kind of have to know Memphis to know its surrounding areas. But most people they either live in Memphis, so they either live north, south, east Memphis, or downtown or midtown, or they live in the surrounding areas. So the surrounding areas would be considered Germantown, Carryville, Bartlett, Arlington, Cordova. It's not that many. Like if, like for example, if you go to Chicago, there's like hundreds of surrounding areas and like little mini spots and everything and a little bit more complex. Same thing with New York, it's a little bit more complex. Here is not as complex, but there are some that I didn't say, but I was giving you like the general thing of all that. For this video, I'm gonna do like a few spots that I think are cool and just show you guys around but of course I'm not gonna be able to fit all of them in this video and it's probably gonna be more so like hangout spots as opposed to like touristy areas but there's one touristy area that is slash a hangout spot so mainly we're gonna do hangout spots I feel like I've been talking for like three hours but I've only been talking for five minutes um but yeah let's get this day started I'm actually about to FaceTime my mama and then I'm probably gonna go inside and do my makeup and stuff and get ready because I might want to take like an OOTD photo today so I want to make sure that I'm addressed but let's FaceTime her because I FaceTime her every morning <laughs> what you doing <laughs> you late girl <laughs> So yesterday I actually went to Sephora and I bought this powder because one of you guys in one of my last videos said that this was better than the Laura Mercier powder. I want to see for myself. <laughs> oh, I didn't even say what powder is. It's the one size powder. And so I got the translucent one. This is always so hard when brands have this kind of packaging. So let's take a little bit. Now the powder that I was using from Laura Mercier was the translucent honey. I've fallen in love with that one one more than the regular translucent so that would be the only thing that could keep me from using this powder as much because i think it's going to mattify really well but i'll have to keep an eye on it throughout the day so i'm sorry guys i legit finished my makeup <laughs> and stopped filming but i will have details of this look over on my instagram but yeah so this is the look i feel like i look so bright like my face looks bright over there but my makeup matches i promise <laughs> but anyway y'all gonna think i'm super crazy for what i'm about to do i'm actually about to take a shower i know i'm one of those people that take showers with makeup on with no problem honestly if i told y'all the amount of experience i've had to by force 
do this <laughs> not because i wanted to so now i can just do it so i'm about to get in the shower and then get dressed and head to my parents house so i can pick up my mom because she's gonna help me film a lot of the memphis stuff so i just got out of the shower now i'm about to use this lotion the josie Marin pro retinol body butter i don't know if it's firming my skin like it says the smooth and firm but I definitely think it smooths my skin but all their body butters the Josie Marin body butters just really make me soft these are one of my favorite body butters as you can see <laughs> Okay, so gotten completely dressed. I guess mostly I don't have my shoes on. Now I'm trying to get a photo for the gram. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, I think I got it. Ding, 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 ding. But okay, <laughs> something I didn't say was that I had started on the photos already. <laughs> but I think that last one I just got is it. And the sun came out. So exciting. Um, so that's gonna make this video even better for like the Memphis tour. It is 11, no, 10, 17. I'm gonna go get my mom at around 11. And then I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. My mom's here, she's holding the camera. Right now we're headed to this local place called Babalu. It's kind of like a, like a, what is it? Hispanic restaurant or something, but not really. It's hard to explain. It's like small place, tapas and stuff like that. It's in a very nice, like really fun area called Overton Square, which is in Midtown. Like I was telling you guys earlier, Midtown in the center. So we're gonna go there and have lunch and then I'll show you guys what Overton Square looks like. That's not the only place. There is a lot of different restaurants um, and a few little shops and just like a cute little place to hang out. So we actually stopped at one place before. Um, it's a street called Broad. It's also in Midtown. I'm gonna make sure I don't fall. <laughs> Um, we're going into this coffee shop first. It's called City and State. It's a really cute place. And then we'll walk down a little bit um, on Broad. So this is my coffee and I got, I think it was like a smoky salted caramel something. I don't know, but it's actually pretty good. I don't know what they put in here. Oh, and I got it with oat milk, but I don't know what they put in here, but it's good. So we're outside this place called The Cove. It kind of ruined the whole thing because it's like, a, originally it used to look like kind of like a speakeasy where you don't know. <laughs> trying to make sure you guys can hear me i'm outside so um but anyway where you didn't know that it was an actual bar the doors open today so it kind of defeats the whole mood but i do want to show you guys it's like a really cute like very dark bar hopefully i'll be able to film a little bit in there i don't know but it's cute and it's also a place where you can bring your own bottle of wine or you can buy a whole bottle for like 14 dollars only if you're wine people if th that matters this is the front door right here Kind of like a pirate theme but i promise you it is so cool it's so different it's just like a little cute different place but the bar is everything like <laughs> it's so so cool so we're pulling up to overton square right now this is kind of like the beginning of it there's like restaurants all down here the locals right there is actually a ballet place right over there and lafayette is a really really nice place right here for like live music um and restaurant and then they have like a patio up there if you can see so so cute and then babalu right there but it's just a lot of cute stuff this is a um shopping place right here we got indian food another clothing place a yoga place a hair place oh memphis pizza cafe is so good like that's one of my personal favorite pizza places that's local 
um i'll turn right here but there's like some other places on down there just a few like two or three but this is the parking garage for that area over there but you can also park on the street and street parking is well <laughs> street parking here is not as intense it is as it is in other places like you can park on most streets and be fine unless you're downtown um so you can do street parking here but this this place right here is actually called Hattie Lou Theater and it's a place where a lot of plays are like more like indie plays um the more like known I guess you could say plays happen at the Orpheum downtown but Hattie Lou is I've been there before for um what was it the Wizard of Oz I saw the Wizard of Oz there if you look straight right here it's a lot of like cute like businesses that look like houses like all of this right up in here those are businesses like it's a law firm over there a few other places now this right here is new i don't know what this is this used to be a whole parking lot but it's called it says it's called the memphian it's not actually open yet but i'm excited to see it looks like there's gonna be a bar right here on the inside um so i'm excited about that i'm gonna have to look it up online but this is like one of my favorite areas in memphis is overton square but if you look over here on the right it's this place called the zebra lounge right there and it's actually a bar and they play the piano it's a piano bar so it's really really cute in there i've been in there a few times and i actually sang <laughs> with the dude that was playing on the piano before so this is like a really cute area that you can come and just sit with like have a date or with your family and stuff like that it's outdoor seating and sometimes on this stage people would be singing so it's a really really cute area oh it's overton square it's also a sign right here too Doo -doo -doo. oh <laughs> zoom out okay so this is midtown area still we're still in midtown i don't think i said that but yeah so we decided to come to babalu and we're gonna sit outside and have some food and yeah so let's do it let's do it let's do it different stuff that goes on on bourbon street but it's the same kind of idea on just bars all down through and restaurants and people walking in the street definitely not the safest place so i would say like go at your own risk <laughs> if you come to memphis um even people that are from here it's still kind of like go at your own risk because stuff does happen downtown period but bill street as well so just use caution i mean it's not as bad as i'm saying but especially not in the daytime the daytime is better like as far as safety wise but at the nighttime that's when it's popping so i mean it is what it is so we're gonna go to bill street and um i'll show you guys what it looks like all right you guys we have made it to bill street there's a sign right there woo, woo, woo. but remember when i was talking about the orpheum earlier well here it is like the front door is right around there yeah we're going to walk a little bit on bill street so that i can show you guys it let's do this mom do you want to say hello hello <laughs> going down that way and that way and like a few stores like the BB King store and like a lot of little stuff for like knickknacks and stuff Memphis related like the Blue City General Store um, and it's stuff all through here. Me and my friends used to come down here and we would go to either Jerry the King Lawler's um, like his club. I can't think of the other. No, 
But yeah, we used to go to, we went to Wet Willys like once or twice. You guys probably know that place is on here. There's a lot of cool little places to go for music, live music and DJs and stuff like that. So fun, fun, fun. Okay, you guys, this is a beautiful view of the bridge and the pyramid at the same time. Uh, the pyramid is it used to be i mean it's been a lot of stuff it used to be where university of memphis played their basketball games and probably some other stuff too and then now it's the bass pro shop but it has a really nice um like upstairs uh restaurant slash bar but that's the bridge that i was talking about to you guys about west memphis that's the bridge that you cross to get to west memphis arkansas so so cool i love that view but when you cross the bridge and then you come back it is such a beautiful view also of downtown but this right here what we're passing is um the riverside park or river park i can't remember what it's called but it's really really nice i remember coming here as a kid and my dad he was trying to teach me how to fly a kite i don't actually know if we ever did the kite <laughs> but yeah so really really nice so i guess that's downtown for you so i am back home An abruptly different scenery but i'm back at home <laughs> i took a shower and got on pajamas and everything so i guess that's the end of today's vlog or day in my life vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i really enjoyed filming it like a lot of times throughout the day i was like oh my god this is so much fun just showing you guys around the city but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching as always make sure that you subscribe down below and thumbs up this video it really helps out my channel and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys